Hello people, this is my second video. Um, once again, I'm in Bee Swarm Simulator, which is a Roblox game, and I'm going to the mountain to go kill a giant chick, which is called Mondo Chick. So I'm just heading up now. Just let my friend know that I'm recording at the moment. So let's see. If I can try and get some coconuts out, I'll just bring that to my hot belt while the chick is out. So, pretty much, um, if you put it's easier if you I don't put them on auto because it uses too many, but you can put um, coconuts out. And if they happen to hit the Mondo Chick, uh, they actually do a lot of damage. Very similar to what my, those gold spikes were from my Vicious Bee. So I'm just going to try and do another coconut now. There you go. Only 1,100, but every single bit helps when it comes to the Mondo Chick. Right, just collecting some loot. I can't get any converters. Um, that one difficult thing is if you have 15 converters, that's how many you can hold. So it's 15 converters, 25 dice, 50 um, jelly beans, which is this one here, um, 25 marshmallow bees, that's the dice. But things like um, gumdrops are unlimited. And this one here is my sprinkler, which I place this down, which I place down. There's a few different types of sprinklers that you can get in the game. But um, now that I've got some loot, in a second I'm going to go do... Um, it's a challenge, it's called the Stick Bug Challenge. I um, just got some gifts from my friend because he's got a festive bee. So I think we're almost done with the loot from Mondo Chick. I'm just going to get myself set up for the Stick Bug. So pretty much the stick bug challenge is once you've gotten one of your translators from the science bear, uh, you can start a stick bug challenge. So I'll just see if um, my friend is ready. Uh, let's have a look. It's just resetting, so I'll give him a sec. And then, um, now the stick bug challenge, I'm pretty strong, I think, in the game, but I'm definitely still getting there. There's some people with a lot of lime bees and stuff like that, which um, obviously have um, the lime bees, the bee with the highest attack. And I'm just waiting for a second. <laughs> my friend's bees are sleeping, so he's just saying, hold up. A shout out to my friend Burley Infantry. He's my very first sub. Um, really appreciate it, bro. And um, I've enjoyed um, playing the Bee Swarm Simulator with you. And hopefully we play it a lot more in the future. So, getting back to the game. Um, this why I've enjoyed the posters. This is my first game. I've really enjoyed it. Um, it's a very addictive game. But as you can see, because I've got the translator, I can summon the stick bug for 10 minutes. Um, you can only do it once, I think it's every two days. So if you can't do it, you have to pay 50 tickets to do it. But I've got a free ticket. So here we go. And the challenge has started. It always starts in the sunflower field. Um, as you can see, it's been, it's been hurt already. And then um, it can either go to strawberry field over there or um, very often it goes over to this clover field. One thing you've got to avoid is when he has a red circle like that, a few seconds later he'll do us uh, spin his arms around and that will really, really hurt you. And also these little guys, they're called stick nymphs. They don't hurt too much at the early stages, but um, as it gets further along, he summons more and more of them, and they really do hurt a lot more. Some clever tactics is, if there's a lot of them, if you just sit on the wall, 
um, if nobody else is fighting, uh, they'll come up and then you just, your bees will attack him from the wall. But obviously your, your main goal here is to do as much damage to the stick bug as possible. You can also see this, um, so, sorry, just on a side note, every time he dies, he drops a ring of goodies, um, which you, um, is shared amongst of people, so um, whoever gets it the fastest is the lucky one. Um, another thing is, it will always show you in the right hand corner uh, which place that it's going to go to next. So, uh, as you can see, uh, we're in the pineapple field. There are lasers, they hurt. You see what's that just hurt? And I've got pretty decent defense. They really do hurt. Um, and you can die very, very quickly from them. So best try and avoid them. As now he's at the mountaintop, so the way the quickest way I do that is I go across for the cannon and then I um, catch the cannon to the mountaintop and activate the parachute which is a double tap of A or if you're not using an Xbox controller like I am with your PC you can use um, spacebar to jump so he's now level 5 as he gets along he gains a level every time and he gets significantly harder also when he's in the ground you've got to try and harvest the flowers where his um, shadow is on the ground and that will make him come out and you can then damage him because when he's underground um, you cannot damage him at all so we'll just jump down he'll now be level 6 now there is something interesting that happens at level 6 when he um, is getting killed he'll uh, I don't know exactly what they're called, I think they're called defense totems, but he'll put defense totems in different fields, and if you actually go to destroy those totems, they will uh, make him less strong, so they'll remove, they go just died on the laser, they will remove 25% of, uh, of the stick bug's defense. The bad thing about dying is all your bees have to come back to get sort of revived but unless it's a bee um, the quickest bees to get back are the ones that have um, uh, unlimited energy so as you can see right now we're trying to harvest the plots and he jumped back out now over here you see there's a white line it's going over to the defense totem so best, best thing you could do um, one thing I did forget Whack down one of your sprinklers, which helps because the faster you harvest the ground, the faster it disappears. So you can see I just destroyed a defense to to totem. And now we're fighting him again. So now he's 25% weaker. So now he's gone up to the next level. So that will be pumpkin patch, which is just up here. Sorry if I'm stopping talking every now and then, I'm just focusing on trying not to die. Um, werewolves also come here once an hour or a shorter time if you've got a gifted vicious bee. So you see I just got my spike totem, which now I'll sit up here and the stick nymphs, I will wait until they die and then I'll click the loo. And then I'll try and do as much damage to him as I can. Now there's another defense totem, so I will, I think it's just been destroyed. No it's not. I will go and destroy that totem to make him um, another 25% weaker. That's not actually showing me where the totem is at the moment, unless someone just destroyed it. So no, I don't see the totem at all. There it is completely missed it so I'll whack down usually I'll try and whack down two sprinklers if I can and I'll quickly put them down and I'll destroy the totem which will make him weaker now my score usually at this stage is over a million which guarantees uh, bronze stick uh, bug amulet 
but um, I'm just for the sake of the video I'm just trying to destroy a couple of the totems and also to help the people up the top um, fighting the stick bug because the defense is definitely a lot stronger at this at this stage so I'll just jump up here I uh, will get the spike my stingers because it really really helps a lot I almost died just then so my health is in the top right hand corner um, I've got some uh, pretty decent shoulder pads and armor in that but um, the ace room armor but uh, he can still do a lot of damage to me so I'll just sit up here and I'll get my stinger he's now under again so the spikes won't do anything so what we try and do is there he is now over here there's another defense totem which is almost destroyed so I just went and destroyed that and we're almost on to the next round as soon as oh don't want to die alright you also do get if you look at my character it's um, a stick helm and it actually slows you down and makes it harder to jump as well um, which happens Oh, and I just died somehow. I don't know if that was lag or what. So I'll just do an unhappy face. Uh, sucky thing about being back here is, of course, um, I've got to go to the mountain top. The quickest way to the mountain top is um, catching the cannon all the way up. This is also where the Mondo Chick spawns, and you can see it's got 45 minutes left on it. I would highly recommend every, um, well, it, it's every hour it spawns on the o'clock. So the next one for me will be 2 a.m. and then 3 a.m. and 4 a.m. Um, but it uh, can take up to 15 minutes before, if nobody attacks it, for it to despawn. So it also depends on that. I don't know whether he's got another stick totem or not. I think he does. Let's just have a look. Yes, he does. It's right down there. So because I died, every time you die, you I can lay up to four sprinklers. Sorry. Um, every time you die, uh, your sprinklers get reset. Once you've brought them, they you've got them. They don't cost anything. But the very first sprinklers, you get one of, um, and then as you go up each time, you get more and more sprinklers. So just doing that. Once again, the quickest way for me to go back up is to catch the cannon back up. My son calls it the rocket, which is quite cool because he loves rockets. So the stick bugs are a lot stronger at the moment. So just trying to harvest where the stick bug is. To make him come out. Oh, I just got him with the gold spikes, which helped. As is level eight now, um, and my even though my bees are uh, all level ten, one level eleven, it's the higher your bees are, the better damage you can do to this. Hey, just got killed by another laser. So that's not fun. I'm not paying as much attention as normal as this is the very first time I've video recorded the stick bug. But I got an amulet. Let's have a look. The one on my left, my original, definitely looks a lot better because it's got the better capacity um, and the 28 honey from tokens compared to 7 from bomb pollen. So I'm going to keep the old. Just saying, um, just telling my friend that um, I got the bronze amulet. Alright, well, I'm going to wrap this video up, but um, if I do record one in the, in the future, 
uh, it might not talk as much and just focus to see how high my score can get. Alright, thank you all for watching. Please subscribe and I hope to bring you another video um, soon. Thank you very much and have a good morning, evening or night. See you later.